You know, it was, it was on a beach a lot like this one that I'd come to with my family when I was just a kid. We did what families do. We made sandcastles, we threw rocks in the water. And then after a little while, my dad told us that if we turned over some of the larger rocks, we'd find these little sand crabs that live underneath. And sure enough, for the rest of the afternoon, my sister and I turned over rocks trying to find the biggest and the best sand crabs we could. We found two at the end of the day that we really wanted to keep. For about three days, they were great, living in a little bucket in our living room. But by about day four, we knew they were dying. Well, that night, my dad suggested that he take them downtown by the waterfront and that he dump them back in the water. Sure enough, he took them away and we never saw them again. It was in college when I was telling some friends about that situation and the thought finally occurred to me, I bet my dad just took those crabs and the bucket and just dumped them out in the nearest storm drain, never to be seen again. And so the next time I saw my dad, I asked him, I said, Dad, you remember those crabs? Did you just dump them into the storm drain? And his eyes got all big as he remembered that situation. And he said, no. He said, I drove 13 miles to downtown, walked over train trestle down onto the beach and put them back right into the bay where they could live and grow and do whatever little crabs do at that point. You see, it wasn't about the crabs. It was about how much he cared for us, that he would go that extra mile, go those extra 13 miles to do what he said he would do for us, not for the crabs but for us, his kids. And I was reading what Jesus was telling us about our Father in heaven. And he said, who of you, when your son or daughter asks you for a loaf of bread, gives them a stone or gives them a snake? If you, though you were evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who seek and ask him? It kind of gives a new perspective on the good things that God our Father has for us if we ask. Just a thought.